How are we going to evaluate functions? Find out in this video. Hi learners! Today we're going to talk about evaluating functions. So ito lang yung kailangan nating tandaan pag mag evaluate tayo ng function. So when we say evaluate, we simply substitute. Okay. Let's have some examples. So, evaluate the following functions. So, number one, given f of x is equal to 3x minus 2, find f of 3. So, ang ibig sabihin nito ay papalitan natin ang value ni x ng 3. Okay, so, paano gawin yan? So, we have f of x Isusulat muna natin ulit yung formula or yung given function. So, f of x is equal to 3x minus 2. So, since we're looking for f of 3, so, x now becomes 3. So, f of 3 is equal to 3 times 3 minus 2. Okay? So, again, uh, we're going to uh, take note of the rules sa PEMDAS natin. Okay, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, simply bring down negative 2 or minus 2. Then, finally, simplify it. You have 9 minus 2. So, 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 7. Okay, how about the second example? Given h of z is equal to z squared minus 4z plus 9, find h of negative 7. So, kung mapapansin natin, we have two variables na z. So, lahat ng variables na z ay papalitan natin ng negative 7. So, si negative 7 ang isa substitute natin dun sa place ni z. Okay, so same sa ginawa natin kanina. Sisulat muna natin ulit yung function. So, the function is h of z is equal to z squared minus 4z plus 9. Okay. So, we are looking for h of negative 7. So, z now becomes negative 7. So, negative 7. Take note, we're going to place that one inside of the parenthesis. Okay. Then, squared. Minus 4, then uh, z again becomes negative 7, plus 9. Okay? So, uh, let's simplify the, uh, the problem. So, you will have negative 7 squared. Okay, so that is equal to positive 49. Okay, negative 7 squared, it means negative 7 times negative 7. Okay, how about negative 4 times negative 7? So, negative 4 times negative 7 is equal to positive 28. So, take note, negative number or negative integer times a negative integer is equal to a positive integer. Then, bring down 9. Then, simplify. We can add all of them. So, you will have 49 plus 28 plus 9 is equal to 86. Okay. Therefore, h of negative 7 uh, based on this function is equal to 86. Okay, let's continue. Let's have example number 3 or problem number 3. Given f of x is equal to x squared, minus 2x plus 1, find f of 3x and f of a. So, we have two questions for problem number 3. Okay. Let's solve for first f of 3x. Okay. So, again, write the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay. x now becomes 3x. So, we have f of 3x is equal to 3x squared minus 2 times the quantity of 3x. So, again, 
lahat ng variable x ay papalitan natin ng 3x. Okay? Then, the rest, the given, you simply copy. Okay? Plus 1. Okay, let's continue. 3x squared, that is equal to 9x squared. Okay? Or, the quantity 3x uh, raised to the power of 2 is equal to 9x squared. So, 3 squared is 9. x raised to the power of 2 is x squared. Okay? Let's continue. Uh, negative 2 times 3x. So, negative 2 times 3x is equal to negative 6x. Then, bring down 1. Okay. So, titignan natin kung pwede pa natin masimplify further. So, titignan natin kung mayroon ba ang same ang literal coefficients. Coefficient. So, in this case, wala na magkaparehas na literal coefficient. Therefore, this is our final Answer, 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. Okay, let's have the second problem. So, f of a. We're going to have x squared minus 2x again plus 1. So, we're going to substitute a to the places of or the places of the variable x. So, x now becomes a raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times a plus 1. Okay. So, simplify. a squared is equal to, or a raised to the power of 2 is equal to a squared. Minus 2 times a is equal to 2a. Then, bring down, uh, this is 2a, bring down positive 1. Okay. So, hindi na natin masimplify pa yung uh, answer natin. Therefore, this is the final answer. We have a squared minus 2a plus 1. So, let's have problem number 4. Given g of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5, let's find out the value of g of 2x minus 1. So in this case, the input natin is a binomial expression. Okay? Pero, same pa rin yung process natin. We simply substitute. So, write again the function. g of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5. Okay. So, we are looking for g of 2x minus 1. So, x now becomes 2x minus 1. So, lalagay pa rin natin sa parenthesis. 2x minus 1 squared minus 4 times the quantity of 2x minus 1. Uh, isin natin, 2x minus 1 plus 5. Okay, then we simplify. So you will have two, the quantity 2x minus 1 quantity squared. So kung mapapansin natin, we can apply here the square of a binomial. How are we going to square a binomial? The rule states, we're going to square first the first term. Okay, so what's the square of the first term? Our first term is 2x. So, ano yung square niya? So, we will have 4x squared. Right? Okay. Yung next naman na step if, is you multiply the first and the last term times 2. Okay. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Negative 2x times 2 is equal to negative 4x. So, we will have here negative 4x. Finally, the last term is a square din natin siya. So, negative 1 squared. So, negative 1 squared, it will become positive 1. Kasi nga, negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. Okay. Dito naman, sa part na to, we are going to distribute 4 or negative 4 sa expression na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay. One by one. So, negative 4 times 2x, it will become negative 8x. Next is negative 4 times negative 1. So, negative 4 times negative 1, it will become positive 4. Kasi nga, negative times negative integer is equal to positive integer. Then, bring down plus 5. 
Okay. We're going to combine now similar terms. Okay. So, walang uh, magkapare uh, kaparehas na literal coefficient yung first term natin. So, siya yung mauunang isusunod. So, 4x squared. Then, we have negative 4x and negative 8x. So, we can combine them. Anong resulta kung i-combine natin si negative 4x kay negative 8x? So, same sign sila. We're going to copy the common sign. Then, add them. So, 4 and 8 or 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. Okay? So, we will have negative 12x. Okay, how about the constant? We have positive 1, positive 4, and positive 5. Okay, we're going to com combine the 3. So, we have 1 plus 4, that is 5, plus 5, that would be equal to 10. Okay, plus 10. So, the final answer is 4x squared minus, two, uh, minus 12x plus 10. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.